Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with my dress up darling episode number 12 reaction and this is the season finale. Okay, the previous episode, it was one of the wildest episode um, where, uh, okay, the beginning part was kind of, you know, normal. We kind of have the whole, uh, you know, like a Liskyun conversation, a new, like, you know, uh, character to cosplay. They go to the manga, manga cafe and they kind of, you know, browse different Liskyun's uh, mangas and stuff and how, like, you know, uh, mind talks about whether she'll look good in Twin Tails or not, all that stuff and uh, gojo realizes that this time the uh, drawings are pretty minimal so he might have problems with it so he'll have to improvise all these stuffs it was pretty normal and then oh my god they <laughs> for the like you know uh, the the uh, place where they're going to take photographs um marin chooses a love hotel which is the most similar to like you know the room is most similar to the manga's room of the main protagonist so yeah, they go there and uh, <laughs> obviously Gojo is just, just freaked out and Marin doesn't even, isn't even getting bothered that much. At first she was kind of, oops, I made a mistake, but then that's it. She's like, ah, let's take it, you know, otherwise the money will go uh, to waste. So, <laughs> you know, she kind of uh, changes into her costume, this and that. And uh, Gojo starts getting more into his work mode and he's like, okay, like in this angle we'll do and she, he kind of lies down. Mind goes on top of him and oh boy chaos ensures after that just everything goes wrong um mm, uh, sound comes from uh, the <laughs> neighboring rooms and yeah like they go to realizes what's happening um something rises up and uh, yeah uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the phone falls the whole uh, you know like the room gets dark he gets up grabs Marin's stomach mine almost like you know screams out and yeah that was an awkward moment and they were almost about to you know kiss but i feel like that was what was, what was going to happen but obviously um the phone rings and just uh like it usually does <laughs> and yeah and then in the end uh, like you know like both mine and gojo were just embarrassed so yeah that was wild so let's see what this episode brings this is the final episode of this season and uh, yeah let's see how they conclude this season i'm sure we will get a future season uh not sure how much the manga is ahead but if it's not that much ahead we might have to wait a little bit to get a new season but we'll probably get one because this is one of the most populous animals this season so i'm sure we'll get a sequel but yeah yeah let's start then this is episode number 12 of uh, my dress up darling so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here link it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go okay <clears throat> oh, he's making he not all all right um what he's not satisfied like wait, what fireworks is it New Year's or something? what's happening? August 8th, no, it's not New Year, what? Help me. Oh my god, I feel like it's going to be something... Something very normal, like, Gojo's going to freak out. And he'll be like, oh, I am... You know, like, my... my uh, I don't know, my clo clothes is stuck or something like that, she's going to say or you know something very normal or very you know that's like the usual anime trope what happens <laughs> but yeah anyways okay august and it's fireworks oh you know what i'm guessing it's like a um a uh, what do you call them summer fe summer fe uh, august when do we have those festivals summer festivals 
Like, there's a summer festival and a winter festival. Like, Natsu Matsuri and Fuyu Matsuri. So... I don't know, I'm not sure when those happens, but I'm guessing it's something like that. That's why there's fireworks. <clears throat> I'm guessing it might be a summer festival, we'll see. Oh, maybe, maybe mine will tell him to go with her or something. Okay, let's see. My dress up darling. Oh, that's the name of the episode. Interesting. There you go. Ribbon. There you go. Festival. I knew it. Why don't you go? <laughs> there you go. Summer vacation. <laughs> Wait, they have summer vacation in August? Okay. <laughs> Why don't you two go? Oh no. For the cosplay. Modeling? What? No, that's... <laughs> Oh. Okay. Because? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, modeling, I guess it pays pretty well. So she, she might be able she might be able to quickly What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, this will be fun. Don't believe that. <laughs> She's like, is she bored? I think so. It's probably not scary. Behind you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, she's scared. I was not expecting that. I thought Goto was going to be scared. What type of a movie is this? This ghost is wielding a chainsaw. What? <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh my God, <laughs> this game guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Don't throw your phone like that, please. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Wait, so then... Yeah, they'll have to go, okay. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Wait, is is this night? Oh no. Okay, there you go. It's not night. Oh yeah, the sun is. Mitsuba cut kiya a shrimp ani okay kaki age what what is that a oh, fried okay oh my god is she But does she even have the plumes? What? Hello? Is she playing a prank on him? I think so. Oh no, she genuinely. Oh my god. Oh, she can't swim. Oh, okay. Yeah, I also thought like she. Okay. Yeah. Just like it's happening now, you know, it's it's not the ocean, but still Like look at the reflection, you know Kind of like your cosplay, you know, you don't <laughs> you can't sue but you still love cosplay Uh. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> There you go. Ah, we'll do it later on. Not that. We'll... <laughs> okay. Hmm? Good job. I'm doing maths. Praise me. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa's so happy. He's like, finally, this kid is going outside with friends. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, I was thinking maybe, oh, okay. I was thinking maybe mine is going to invite her other friends or something, but no, she, she's going alone. <clears throat> okay. Ah, there she is. Ah, a yukata. That's a yukata, isn't it? 
Wow. Her hairstyle is really cute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that is a yukata. Wow. <laughs> Well, um, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, like, oh, it's since it's Japanese coach, he's even more hyped about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. R Ringame, yeah. Oh my god, she's going to start eating now. She eats a lot, as far as I remember. Oh, up, on, gone to the next one. Oh. Yep. She She's hungry, you know? Wow, so many. <laughs> now she's eating ice cream. Or shaved ice, not ice cream. I'm kind of surprised none of our friends are here. Mm, as he, he said, he, he was always kind of... Nice. There you go. Wow, okay. Wow. Damn, this camera work. As he said, this is the first time for him, so. Wow, oh my god, this looks really good. Look at that. His world is expanding, you know, as he said. His world is expanding. He needed this. Yep. Nick, I have experienced it for this as well because in our place as well, fireworks happens. And yeah. There you go. It was all, it was all alone up until now. So many things happened, you know, after meeting Kitagawa. <laughs> wow, is he really going to like understand his feelings? Is it really going to happen? I don't know. I feel like this atmosphere is a little bit... Oh my god. <laughs> Stop! Please! That... Oh my god. That... She completely... <laughs> ruined that atmosphere. I cannot. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Carry her. Piggyback. Or whatever you call it. Yeah, piggyback. That's what you call it. 
Jump on his back. There you go. <laughs> My god. It's quite tall. <clears throat> yep. I feel like it, it's you know it's good like you can getting a big piggyback you know mm. <laughs> yep next year as well he realizes that there you go <laughs> wow that was nice ah, and there it ends oh well yeah that was a really good like you know way to end it i guess you can say uh nothing significant happened but still this is an ongoing you know story so uh, I'm sure in the second season, I don't know when we are going to get that second season, but I'm sure we'll get it eventually because this is probably one of the most popular uh, anime this season at least. Marin became huge as soon as she, like you know, just descended in the <laughs> anime, you know, like community. She's huge now. Like, it's insane to see how, like, one girl can just become so popular in, like, like, in a, like, in, in 12 episodes. Like, it didn't even take 12 episodes. One episode it took for her to become popular. And I knew this was going to happen. As I said, like, you know, I, I read the first few chapters of the manga. And I loved this, like, you know, art style, the story, you know, the characters as well. And I knew this, if, if this comes as an anime, it's going to get popular. But I didn't realize that she was going to get this popular. I knew she was going to get popular, but not at this amount. And it's insane. So I, I think it'll, it'll be like, you know, like it'll be actually really weird for them to not do a season two in the future. So yeah, let's, let's wait for it. Oh, there's something still left. Let's see. Phone call? Who's calling? What's happening? Wait, what? What? Why? Why are you turning off your lights? Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> oh no. What is this, Miruko chan? <laughs> oh my god. Come on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wait, this scene seems familiar in some other anime this happened? What anime was it? Very recently.
Oh, uh, he's feeling asleep. Sleepy. Press host. Ah, he's falling asleep. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, nice. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Falling asleep. Oh no. You going to confess or something? Uh, yep, I know. I knew that was coming. Okay, he's asleep. So. <laughs> It'll be kind of funny if he's actually awake. Nah, he's asleep. Wait, does this phone have a recorder or something? Like, okay, that's where it ends. Ah, I, <laughs> I was thinking like it would be kind of funny if he's actually awake or something. <laughs> but no, he's not a not a person like that. You know, <laughs> if he was awake, he would be awake. He wouldn't pretend to be asleep. But here's the thing, you know. I don't know like but there's like a few phones I, I know like which have like an automatic recording feature I don't know what what his phone is but if his phone has that type of a feature that will be kind of interesting you know <laughs> the, the whole phone like you know phone like you know, call would be recorded on, and oh my god he'll get a shock when he wakes up and hears that <laughs> but obviously that's not going to happen it's not that easy this is anime we are talking about we're going to need three more seasons for them to confess so yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was that was nice that was a really cute ending okay so <coughs> <coughs> as i was saying like um my dress up darling will definitely get a uh, sequel in the future because as i said it it's hugely popular which i i myself wasn't expecting i was expecting it to be popular but not at this amount and marin is insanely popular now insanely and like like that's I'm, I'm sure i'm sure because of this huge popularity i'm sure we'll get a future season but we might have to wait because i'm not sure how much the manga is ahead so we might have to wait a few uh like you know maybe one year or more than one year we don't know but we'll see we'll see and uh, i'm sure we'll get one new season but if like, you know, it might take a little bit of time that's basically it so <clears throat> Okay, so this uh, episode, this was a really good ending episode. Uh, no cosplay happened here. It was just them spending time together and that was it. Okay, so in the beginning, we see uh, Gojo making Hina dolls and um, Marin calls him and not calls, I think messages him. Yeah, messages him and it's like, oh, like uh, you come quickly and uh, I need help or something like that. <laughs> And then we see it's basically she wants, uh, you know, like a little help with the ribbons and all. And she's pretty mad at her dad because her dad said like he would take him uh, her to the fireworks, but he he's not here. <laughs> so obviously I knew when like she was saying that I knew what was going to happen. They were going to go together. And obviously since it's a fireworks episode, obviously they need to go to the like you know festival. And. <clears throat> Okay, so a few things happen uh, happens in here, like after Gojo goes to her place and like you know, does the ribbons for her, and we get to actually know that she is actually doing modeling work. Now I was really not expecting that uh, because you know, like she uh, up until now, we, like you know, I, I saw her, her. She herself said some stuff about her doing part time job, but her part time job is modeling. I was I I really did not expect that, but it does make sense, you know, like uh, Marin is like you know like 
is i have to say like mine is really like you know good looking and for her to be a model is perfect she's 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 kind of tall you know like on the on the taller sides and she she has like you know she has blonde hair and she she looks like a model complete model and it it would actually like you know like like it wouldn't surprise me if she, she like you know she was actually like in a modeling agency or something like that but she, she's not in that she's basically doing this as a part time i'm guessing as she said so yeah now <clears throat> it's interesting to see here is like in if, if you can think of it in this way modeling in itself is kind of like you can say i i wouldn't say it's it's cosplaying but it's kind of similar to it isn't it like you know you kind of uh, wear different clothes you know kind of pose may put on makeup and everything maybe sometimes you put on a wig like you know like all that stuff and uh, yeah you pose and click pictures if you think of it in that way in simpler like you know in a more simple manner you can say that modeling and cosplay are kind of similar so like you know she does modeling but we could see that her main like you know passion is uh, cosplay which kind of shows that you know since even though both are kind of involved with clothing and makeup she she prefers cosplay because of the story and you know like the anime instead like it's not that she uh like obviously she likes cosplay i'm not saying she doesn't like cosplaying i'm saying that it's not like she like you know kind of likes wearing clothes and snapping pictures it's because she loves anime and eroge she loves cosplaying as those characters and she likes to become those characters it's the characters that she loves and that's the reason why she wants to cosplay them not the reverse so that that really kind of puts emphasis on that because she talks about modeling like a very like you know in a normal manner but whenever it's cosplay she just freaks out <laughs> so it, it it kind of like you know it it shows that the difference and you know which is her passion and which is like her job you can say and uh, yeah cosplay is her passion and since she loves the characters and loves the you know uh, the eroge characters or anime characters whatever you call manga characters since she loves those she she also loves and enjoys doing cosplay so okay now <clears throat> now you know what i actually realize the 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 opening now the, in the opening in the beginning we see her you know kind of posing with the you know big like in the kind of in the beginning of the opening you know with with makeup and everything on that that was her in her modeling i'm guessing uh doing her modeling job or something because the the pictures kind of uh, that we see here of her modeling pictures kind of looks like that that the, the, the you know the starting part of the opening <laughs> and yeah now here's one thing um I, he, she says that she's doing this job because she wants to buy the camera and obviously like you know i'm, I'm sure modeling uh like actually uh it's like you know has a very good you can say um wouldn't say salary because it's a um part-time job she's doing but yeah she can earn quite a lot of money by doing modeling and since she's actually like you know um to saving up for a dslr camera which is insanely priced you know i'm pretty sure like you know since she's doing modeling she will be able to uh like you know just gather enough money in a very short amount of time so it wouldn't take i'm guessing it will probably take her i, I don't know like how many three or four months maybe to save for a dslr camera it won't take her much time to actually gather that amount of money since she's modeling and uh, yeah it's perfect you know <laughs> okay so all right that was that that we get to know that she's like you know doing uh, the part-time job and all that stuff and then uh, okay the next part we see she's like okay let's watch a movie a scary movie because it's summer now here's one thing you know i don't know if you guys know but uh, i'm sure most of you guys know who like are watching anime for a long time but there's a thing where you know uh like you'll see this in other animes as well like they love like you know doing these type of uh what do you call it these type of uh oh what, what are those called kimo uh, dameshi what's what's it called in english you know where you go with your friends and like you know go to like a, a, a scary place you know like an animals have that you can go go as a group of friends and kind of uh like you know people try to scare you that type of thing that kimodameshi thing that they do um 
that thing or like you know watching scary movies they love to do that in summer now i don't know like and i at, at first i did not know the reason why but later on i think i read this in a visual novel where they kind of explains why they do it you know the reason why they do it in summer because in summer it's hot you know and uh like in like you know in scary situations it kind of gives a chill through your bones and since it's hot like and they kind of do it in summer because you know like the chill through their bones kind of makes them feel cold or something i don't know like that's like the explanation that i know it's kind of an interesting reason why they actually do these type of scary stuff in summer that's like the explanation that i know <laughs> yeah okay so <clears throat> she's like oh since it's summer let's like you know watch the movie and at first the gojo was like oh this is like a scary movie isn't it and i th i thought like the gojo was reacting like that i thought okay maybe gojo will be scared or something and mine at first mine seemed pretty normal but oh boy the whole situation got reversed when they started watching the movie mine was scared <laughs> and gojo's just staring like this <laughs> and just you know like he, he was pretty invested in the movie and uh mine at, at the end mine was pretty much freaked out about the whole thing but gojo was like oh this is amazing let me just go back and see what how the, that fabric looked oh that 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 clothing looked really good there it looks kind of old i wonder how they made it and all these things he was saying while mine is just looking on the other direction he, she's like no nope, i'm not watching that again <laughs> and uh, yeah and that was that and then the next oh and then uh she realizes that um she left her uh i think it's homework or something yeah in school so the next day in the morning they go to school and uh, okay and here they talk about like you know Go gojo talks about how she's going to go to buy some grocery for dinner he's like you come like you know and have some meal in, in like you know in our house because you know like her grandfather already said that oh you join us as well because she always eats like those greasy food <laughs> and <clears throat> he's like okay i'm going to make these he's just kind of making the menu and they kind of they, i'm guessing they got the homework and marin goes out into the pool and oh boy i was really not expecting this she falls in the pool and she is not coming up i thought maybe is she pulling a prank or something does she want gojo to also to come in but then i like you know then when the next scene we see her like you know gojo dragged her out i'm like okay so she really doesn't know how to swim i was kind of surprised at this you know because she herself said that oh, i went to the beach and everything and she even said you know in the, one of the previous episodes that it's cold today and so i'm not going to go into the water you know like uh, like something like that so i was under the impression that she knew how to swim so i was really surprised seeing her that she was unable to swim and gojo says gojo also asks the same question gojo's like wait you said that you went to the beach and mine is like yeah i just you know kind of like ate and just hang around in the you know, like you know sand that's all i did and uh yeah and it's like you know it's pretty like you know like i'm, I'm i also uh understand that it's pretty what can i say like like the whole the main reason for going to a beach is obviously you know like you you need to swim as well but for people who cannot swim the friends the friends and like everything else you know the sand the atmosphere uh you know the wind the sea wind that comes and uh the food that they sell on the sea beach all these things like these things also have like their own charm so if you can't swim you, know, you can definitely go to the beach like it's it's not that yeah i cannot swim i cannot go to the beach obviously that's not the case kind of interesting like it's kind of like uh you know like kind of like cosplay if you think about it i'm kind of <laughs> i'm kind of comparing everything to cosplay now that oh my god what's happening to me it's kind of like cosplay like you know like how uh, the whole thing with juju where juju says like uh oh like you know even if you uh no not juju sorry um yeah it was with juju juju says like i will not do the cosplay uh, which i don't have the body like you know structure for uh but it's not that you know like people who don't have the body structure should not do that cosplay they can do it you know like you can do whatever you want to and uh, it's not that you you cannot do a sim single thing you know like a, a, a certain thing you sh cannot do it completely there's no nothing like that it's kind of like cosplay if you think about it like here mine comes here and mine cannot swim but she can do the other stuff here just like how like you know like if you are unable to do a certain cosplay because you don't have the body type for it or like you know like you you, you would not look good in it 
you, you can still like you know kind of make or like you know alter it and have fun on your own you know you can improvise just like how she's improvising coming to the beach and not going to uh, swim but still having fun like improvisation i think that's the word improvise yeah improvisation so it's kind of the same if you think about it in that way uh, okay <laughs> but yeah so now she says an interesting thing here she's like uh, i love the f like this is an interesting thing that she says she says that uh, where is it ah i love watching the ocean get all sparkly from the sun reflecting on it which is kind of interesting if you think about it i've never anyone say say anyone uh, heard anyone say something like that before and uh, i guess it kind of looks good you know like uh, we can see here as well like when she's saying here the pool it kind of reflects from the pool and falls the reflection falls on her and gojo it's kind of reflecting and it's kind of sparkly and she likes that as well and uh, yeah and here gojo also says that uh, like you know mine says is it weird that i can't swim but i still want to go but gojo's like no like it's kind of the same you know like for me as well i am not able to properly do hina dolls but still i love doing it like it's not that if you are unable to do something you can like it like that's not the thing and uh like i'm like in a, in a, in a way if you think about it it's kind of like that like a majority like, you know, in a, in a major, uh, what do you call it? Like, the majority of the times, it's kind of like that. Like, for example, um, I don't know, like, my likings, you know, like, for example, anime, you can say. Like, I, I don't make anime, but I still love it, you know? So, that's the thing, like, you know? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of things, like, like, for example, let's say, like, someone who loves to listen to music. It's not necessarily that they need to play good music to listen to music, you know? Like they can be bad at music but still they can enjoy it like that kind of thing you can say and kind of like mine as well like you know like she loves cosplay <laughs> but she cannot <laughs> but she cannot like you know sew clothes so kind of like that so yeah like it, it doesn't matter like people's like what people likes uh is completely like you know different than whether they can do it properly or not people can like anything and uh, it's not that necessarily that you need to be good at it to like something so yeah <clears throat> and uh, all right that was that and uh, okay and then they make the plan to go to the fireworks festival you know and uh, uh, gojo's like all right i'll go and i remember this uh, episode where uh, mines told gojo that yeah this like you know this year i'm going to take you to everywhere you know where i go all the like you know fun places and i'm guessing this is the first one where they go to the fireworks festival and gojo comes there mine comes here as well and mine is wearing yukata at first i was not really able to understand why gojo was kind of like you know blushing and everything and then i realized as they themselves explain it she, he's more like you know, she's high he's really hyped about the japanese clothes you know the, the yukata he, he's just like oh it looks amazing on her and uh, yeah i wouldn't lie like you know like it does look amazing on her <laughs> then she talks about the nape and like uh you know <laughs> this like you know thing like uh what can i say i like you know in anime there's like this this is another thing where they kind of like you know kind of emphasis emphasize on the nape of the girl wearing a yukata and in the beginning when i was new to anime i really did not understand i was like what why and oh boy i <laughs> as time went on i i can understand it now the the you know like why <laughs> what do you call it the charm yeah the charm the charm of that you know like the long nape with uh the hair kind of tied up uh, that that thing and they were kind of emphasizing that here as well and when <laughs> when mine asks wait are you into napes or something gojo's kind of like just keeps quiet and kind of looks to the side and blushing and <laughs> mine is like for real <laughs> oh my god yeah and yeah as i said i don't blame him because at first i also thought it was weird but then i i myself got converted i'm like yeah this is bad this is the best and <laughs> i myself have like you know awakened to the charm of the nape <laughs> oh my god but yeah 
and then they go around the stalls just uh, grabbing food and like you know so many food and i knew like you know we, we already know that marin loves eating and she just buys everything like you know from takoyaki to uh ringo ame um yakisoba i'm guessing as well shaved ice all these things and uh, <laughs> yeah oh you know what i i didn't notice it when i was reacting uh what the cotton candy it has like those mascot the the one of uh, from the the maho shoujo anime you know <laughs> i didn't notice that in the beginning but now i'm noticing it okay now gojo says here like gojo is like okay this is the first time i'm actually going to like a fireworks festival and then the fireworks starts like you know just going up and gojo's just looking spellbound at you know the the sky and you you know this sensation he he talks about the sensation here he says that uh, up until now fireworks was something that i just looked at from my house through the window and i just thought that oh it's just stuff which makes lights and sound but now that i'm here in the middle of it i can feel so much feelings the rumbling sound you know the the feeling that it feels when a fireworks goes out when it blasts the gunpowder smell and you know these things these sensations the light just sparkling on on top and just looking at on the sky and just looking at so much fireworks just going up at the same time and just blasting so these things and i can understand and this this really shows like you know this and he he realizes he himself says like this year has been insane you know so many things i've got to know and so many new experiences and you know like and, and as i said like you know this this is actually expanding his world just like his grandfather said like go out you know explore the world you you, you know you you can like you know you cannot perfect your craft if you just stay in one place have like you know other normal experiences in your life as well you know everything contributes to mastering your craft every little thing and that includes normal like you know, everyday life and normal everyday experience having fun in itself also kind of contributes into mastering your craft so just yeah explore and you know experience and mine is that perfect person who's just now like you know taking gojo to these all these different places and like showing him so many different things and just expanding his world and yeah he's just thankful for it and you know like this thing i i can i can relate to the whole fireworks situation because here as well in my place you know in india um fireworks like you know, it, it's it's not that we have fireworks like you know like i think in japan this multiple times fireworks happens like in the uh, summer festival the win winter festival but here in my country like you know only one two days you know in the whole year uh but but if there's celebrations fireworks kind of go out other than that two days we have for celebration you know like fireworks go out it's uh like you know um we have a festival and it's called diwali if you know and you know like we we just buy fireworks and uh, just and 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 i like you know, when i was a child i was i also used to just like, you know buy fireworks and just just you know just like lighted them and just had fun with it and yeah like those two days in diwali it's insane you know here as well it's just like as soon as night falls the fireworks starts going up and it's just continuously and i don't know if you guys have noticed like you know like i in the previous year as well I, there was like you know the day when it was fireworks i i, I probably like you know, recorded a video you could probably hear it in that like you know day i don't remember when it was but the previous year as well it happened and i remember me recording video here as well while the fireworks was going out outside and it was just like you know just uh like you know all those noises and yeah that's why i have experience with like, with like this type of a situation where i'm just outside and fireworks are just continuously on the top just you know like just it, it's amazing it, it's really nice and uh, yeah it's, it's so insane here that you know even even in, in, in night like even after like I don't know, like one o'clock, two o'clock, even at three o'clock, it it keeps going. Like I'm like, damn, <laughs> it's insane here. Like you know, these two days, it's kind of insane. So yeah, like I I just remember remembered it. Um, but anyways, <sighs> okay, that was it. Uh, that was the whole. St oh no, uh, the main thing that happens here. Oh my god, I was flabbergasted here. This whole scene was such an amazing scene, you know, like Gojo's like thinking about how uh, mind has expanded his world 
he's looking at Marin, Marin is looking at Gojo, you know, like they're, like, you know, they're kind of blushing. And here I thought, wait a minute, is Gojo really understanding that he kind of uh, likes, he likes her or something? Like, is, is, it, is it really happening? Is, she, is he going to say something? Or is he going to confess? Like, what? What's going to happen? Like, I knew he was not going to confess, but at least I thought, like, he was going to realize his feelings or something. I thought something is going to happen. And it's such a, you know, such like a, what can I say? Like an, like an, an engaging scene. You, you just get, like, hooked to the whole thing. You're looking at these two and the camera is just shifting from Gojo to Marin, from Gojo to Marin. You're looking at the scene and then Marin just sticks her tongue out and the music stops and i'm like yeah there you go it's all <laughs> it's all over the whole mood is just gone <laughs> but yeah still they had fun that's that's the main thing that's all you need there's plenty of time for them to actually not them but him to actually realize his feelings and this is barely the first season so <laughs> okay the next thing is like you know we see her like you know her sandals kind of uh, is like hurting her so gojo <laughs> mine is like just like you know, i'm going to go on top of you it gets a piggyback ride and uh, she's like oh you're so tall it's so high <laughs> and yeah then they start like you know walking back home and uh, yeah then they start talking about like you know everything and she's like oh next year as well we're going to go gojo's like yeah next year and you know she he kind of real like, realizes that yeah from here onwards like you know like i'm also like a part of uh, marin's world and you know like as like you know she's going to go to different places i'm like you know i'm also going to go with her as you like, know good friends and we're going to have a really good time and yeah that's all he needs because you know that's that episode where he was kind of afraid of uh, whether you know mine's going to not be friends with him anymore because the cosplay is over but then mine is like oh i have like 50 more characters <laughs> like that episode he's kind of like yeah this is really happening you know it's not a temporary friendship or something like that we really are friends and yeah this is going to continue in the next year and the next year as well and then after in the after the after credit scene, the post credit scenes, uh, we see Mahin call Gojo, and she's like, like, I was kind of concerned when she was talking like that. I was like, wait, is something happening? Are they going to like do like that cliffhanger thing where something serious is going to happen, and they're going to left like you know let us uh, like just leave us hanging or something? But it was just Mahin being Mahin. Mahin is like, oh, like I just watched the sequel of the scary movie, and I can't sleep. <laughs> And then he's, we see, like, you know, when he, she goes, went to the bathtub, like, you know, she was just freaking out. The, 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 the water draw, drip on her neck and she just is afraid of the whole thing. And she's like, yeah, I cannot sleep. Gojo, just, just, you know, like, just keep the phone on and, like, you can go to sleep. And, you know, like, just, just keep it on and just talk with me until you fall asleep. <laughs> And then they, this thing reminded me of something. Um, like there was another anime which was it Takagi san, where a similar thing like this happened, or was it something else? <laughs> you know, like they kind of uh, put the both the phones together and they're just you know lying down. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so Marin, she she starts talking about like you know the experience, the whole like you know like year and everything, and she's like oh i wanted to do so much you know like more cosplay and more places i wanted to go this and that and go just when goes to sleep and marine here in the end is like gojo kun i i love you and yeah he's asleep over there but obviously if he was not asleep she wouldn't do that like <laughs> and uh, yeah and that's it she she puts like you know switches the phone off and that's where it ends yeah fantastic way to end this season and uh, yeah hopefully we get a new season and hopefully that happens quick um if the manga is ahead of like you know quite ahead then we're probably going to have it quick but if it's not ahead that much from the anime then we might have to wait a little bit for the manga to you know kind of uh advance and then we might get a season two but i'm sure we'll get one 
it's just a matter of time yeah that's it that's it thanks for watching guys uh so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and um yeah i will check them out so yeah that's it that was the final uh episode of uh my dress up darling and uh this season and uh, yeah i loved it i i it was fantastic this 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 anime i knew it was good but watching the anime made me realize how good it is i knew it was good but i was not expecting it to be this good and them actually adapting it like this so perfectly it's amazing and i just love that so yeah this this show exceeded my expectations and uh, i'm i'm really looking forward to uh, what's going to happen in the future so yeah and so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys and obviously uh, since this is the final episode i'm going to replace this with a new anime uh, not from the next week i'm guessing the week after that because next week or, or is it next week uh oh it's probably the next week uh no yeah 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 but probably the next week or some sometime like that because i i think like the next the uh, spring animes are going to start from like sixth and eighth that time so yeah it'll probably be next week that i'm going to start uh, and replace this anime with a, some other show now I will probably make a new video about that talking about you know what animes i'm going to react to and all that stuff but other than that i'm going to give you guys a little like you know like all the spring 2022 animes that i'm going to watch the new ones i'm going to list it here if you guys are interested keeping and keep an eye out so the spring animes new ones that i'm going to be watching is uh, uh rising of the shield hero season 2 uh Kaguya sama love is war uh, ultra romantic Pi Family, uh, Gomi-san season 2 and this show which is called Kawai Dakeja Nai Shikimori-san. Now I have a reason why I chose these few animes and I'm going to talk about that in um, you know like in the uh, video that I'm going to make in the future where I'm going to talk about these animes and obviously like uh, uh, Shield Hero and Kaguya-sama and Komi these three like you know I'm pretty sure like you know like everyone knows about these but the other two Spy Family and uh, Kawaii Dake Janai Shikimori-san these two why I chose them there's a reason behind it I'm going to talk about it in that video but yeah anyways these are the animes that are new animes that I'll be reacting to and there are a few other you know animes some other animes different animes that I'll, I'll be reacting to i'll also talk about it on in that video but anyways that's it so thanks for watching guys and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day